What are some methods you can use to protect your lemon tree from the lemon stealing whores? Plant two lemon trees. Set a banner in front of one mentioning, for me, and of another, for lemon stealing whores. Communism. Lemon stealing whores are a lot like deer, and can be scared away in a similar method. Put a bar of mint scented soap inside a pantyhose and hang it in the tree. The next time you see the lemon stealing whore, run outside, grab your pantyhose, and beat the ever living daylights out of them. I hear this also works with jumper cables. Hire some lemon stealing pimps, and pay them off. I feel like that would create a whole new problem. No one can stop them, the bear traps only delay the inevitable. You are indeed correct, if I want lemons I will have them. Marry one. Then she will chase away the other lemon stealing whores. Never take more than 10 seconds without looking at your lemon tree. Hey what the duck. I was out of the loop, but not anymore. Yato. I love this intro, because you can tell that most of it is ad-libbed, and it's done perfectly into the so bad it's good territory. Like, I know they are porn stars, not actors, but that just gives them the perfect air of why are we even doing this? Let's just have fun with it. Barbed wire fence. Moat with attack hippos. Hippos are bloody terrifying. Install a sign that says those who venture from Shelbyville to this sacred lemon tree, beware beware, for Springfieldians will hunt and kill thee. Just put it in the car impound lot, the impenetrable fortress of suburbia. Automated lemon juice turrets that will target your eyes. This way they can't have any lemons, and you have a lot of ammo edit. I get it stop comment Michael Reeves on this comment ahhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhh
I don't want your damn lemons. What the hell am I supposed to do with these? Demand to see life's manager. Make life through the day it thought it could give Cave Johnson lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down. With the lemons. I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. Yeah. Yeah. Just shout unacceptably. Acceptable advice. Op just do this yow too. Cut it down. They can't steal your lemons if you don't have a lemon tree. No. Burn their house down with the lemons. I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. Tell them stealing is illegal. That should stop it. They legally cannot continue to steal them. I have a similar question about mango stealing whores. Where do you live? This is for, um, a survey. Yeah, a survey. Exact address please. Put out some decoy lemons that are actually just limes painted yellow. When they realize that they're actually limes they'll be so confused. Paint them green so they don't know which ones are ripe. What are some methods you can use to protect your lime tree from the lime stealing whores? Positivity and understanding. Lemon stealing whores have feelings, and it is universally known that they do very much love lemons. So it'll be tough to keep them away with turrets, bear traps and attack to pose. Although those are very good ideas, if things go south, you need to understand where these citrus succubuses are coming from. Maybe reach out to some, see if they know any other whores in the area that specialize in making lemonade or baking a lemon meringue pie. Now you've got yourself a business. Whores could be a valuable eat to your lemon tree, and you'll be glad you made a friend out of an enemy. Whores are a loyal bunch. Citrus succubuses is not a phrase I knew I needed, but now that I know it, I can't go back. Up. Call yourself life, and start throwing lemons at them. Hard. Wait why do I have to be hard, while I'm throwing the lemons? Give each of your lemons a gun, so they can defend themselves. Instructions unclear the lemons rebelled against me. IDK. I'm too busy disguising myself as a lemon. It's been 4 hours. Did it work? Get a goblin. Not only will they protect your trees, if you sacrifice your firstborn to it, they'll grant you an eternal lemon harvest. Is there any substitute for a firstborn? I don't particularly want kids. Do they take these as gift cards? Tell them they can't steal it without wearing a face mask first. I don't have time to put face masks on all my lemons. Can't I just socially distance them? Turn them into combustible lemons, the people not the lemons. My neighbor has polite sign in the yard indicating to please respect that the fruit in his trees are already spoken for. I would do it Viet Cong style. Set up impalable obstacles, such as sharp cacti, so that you control the path to the lemon tree. I would lead the path to what seems to be a clear shot to the lemon tree. Little does the thief know that pile of leaves they'll walk on covers a very deep hole with sharp, pointed poop covered sticks at the bottom. Lmao this is the best post I've seen in a while. It's, is this a common problem? Do you not have this problem? Share how you protect your lemon tree then, man. Tie an onion to your belt, as was the fashion at the time. Hash 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 swiper no swiping. Swiper no swiping. Swiper no swiping. Or no stealing or no stealing or no oh 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 stealing duck her face. Just install a covid positive patient under hospital care near the tree. PPL will or my covid patient is in hospital recovering therefore no one will centimeters near a yard. Annoying neighbor also will leave you alone. Two birds one stone. Put thousands of fake lemon trees with wax lemons all around your real one. Feel take one bite of that horrible sticky putty and scarper for good. Just need a way of remembering which one is the real one. Hire a 13 year old with a water gun to hang around the tree and squirt people. You can pay them bottom dollar because they're 13 and would probably enjoy doing that chiz for free. I'm 13 and totally down to get paid for squirting people with a water gun. Usually a blood sacrifice to the limoni fairies works for me. A 12 gauge shotgun. 
Nice try Big Lemon. I'm keeping my secrets. Well, when life gives you lemons. You can't. We'll find a way. We always find a way. Don't ask Bart and the local kids to protect it. And with that, a mighty cheer went up from the heroes of Shelbyville. They had banished the awful lemon tree forever because it was haunted. Now let's all celebrate with a cool glow of turnip juice. Verbatim from my top comment ever, some guy at work undid the quick release on my bicycle's wheels and I didn't realize they were loose until I went down a curb and the front wheel rattled, nearly came off. The next day I confronted my colleagues about it but nobody fessed. Later that day the saddle went missing, but I found it on a shelf near the tools. That night, I used epoxy resin to affix bark scatter blades to the underside of all the quick releases on the bike. All of them. The next day one of the guys at work cut his hand up real bad and got sacked for ricking around with my property. Cover it in razor blades. My family has a moderately sized 8 acre slash fedden, lime, and 8 orchard here in Sudan. My dad bought it a few years ago from the owner of a little family adventure park and zoo, think Sudanese Joe Exotic Ranch, lands and everything, that was having money trouble, and decided to split the land up and sell it off. The orchard part of the park that my dad ended up buying was in disrepair, but it was way too cheap for us to turn it up. After some investment and hard work we fixed it up and tended to the lime trees to where they were producing a decent amount of fruits. The work on the date palms is still ongoing as of yet. Anyways over the years we've had some issues with people coming over the property line and partying in our part of the park. And yes there have been some lime stealing whores in those groups. The way the owner has his park set up is that usually the whole park is rented out for a day and the renters aren't aware that it is a separate property, but because of the cost and a small land dispute we haven't been able to put up a fence, but a small tree line is usually enough to keep most people away. The lime stealing whores were easy enough to deal with, but come November, we encountered another issue. My dad is abroad, and me and my brother were left in charge of the farm. One day at about 3am my brother gets a frantic call from Mohammed, our farm keeper, swearing to God that he'd seen a lion walking around in the lemon bushes and that he's currently on the roof of his shack along with his wife and kids. Obviously we didn't know what to think. At first we thought it might have just been some stray dog, but Sudanese Twitter started blowing up about news of a runaway lion and lioness apparently escaping from their cages in Albasic at Family Park, the park that our orchard used to be a part of. Quickly my brother calls the owner and tells him about our keeper's situation, and they arranged a pickup truck with a nearby farmer with guns to come pick them up on a vigilante rescue mission. Our farm keeper and his family got out safe, but the search for the two lions began. The authorities were onto it, and the whole area was basically on lockdown, and people claimed to have seen the lions well into the small town near our park. They were both found hours later near where they were originally seen, and sadly they had to be shot dead, since the search party didn't have the resources or training to recapture them. Both of the lions were super underweight and apparently were barely being fed and were very aggressive because of that and that's what led to the escape. Here's an Arabic Russia Today article I found on the story. This isn't the only time a zoo in Sudan has mistreated animals. Only two months later in January some videos leaked of some lions in al Qurashi Park that were starving and the video led to an international outcry to save them and fortunately they got the help they needed from an Italian organization. TL. Dr. Lemon stealing whores are easy to deal with, but lemon stealing lions are a whole other story. A sign that says these organic lemons have AIDS. Claymores. Plantering of inferior lemon trees around the main lemon tree. The lemon stealing whores will take from the inferior lemon trees leaving all of the superior limony goodness from the main lemon tree all for you. Lemon stealing whore stealing whores. Befriend them. The only way is to check your lemon tree every 10 minutes. I believe the lemon tree insurance policy only covers your lemon trees from lemon stealing whores if you check them every 10 seconds. Does this question have something to do with Animal Crossing? Unfortunately, no. Just a very very old internet inside joke. Get a vicious bird to make a nest in it.
When I was growing up we had a cherry tree, and we only got to harvest the cherries in years, when a bird was nesting there, because she drove away the other birds, before they could steal our cherries. Murder hornets and bullet ants. Final defense would be, to release warmed oil with poison ivy and sumac over the person. Have you considered hiring engineers to develop combustible lemons, then planting them as bait? No one is gonna steal lemons that burn their house down. Not more than once, at least. Lemon stealing whores are easily frightened. But they'll return, in greater numbers. Surrounded with a single Canada goose. The only problem is then you can't get to your lemon tree either. A sign that says caution, Taiwanese diarrhea lemons. Do not consume. By slash dig up a human skeleton. String it up from the lemon tree with a sign that says this is addition. He stole lemons from this tree. Just call the National Guard. Hire Medowlark Lemon and have him distract the whores with fancy basketball tricks. My neighbor's grandma would be watching TV by the window, and whenever she would see someone get close to her lemon and or guava tree, she would hobble out with her cane, and threaten them with it. Worked every time. In California any fruit that hangs over a fence onto public property is thereby free for all. And any portion of the tree that hangs into someone else's property now belongs to the person whose property it hangs onto. Don't know about other states, but this is the story of how I was unable to stop the lemon stealing whores in California. Removed. God damn it, Reddit. That is enough for today. I'd watch it. A Rottweiler. Leave a sign saying one of the lemons had been poisoned, but I won't say which, and then actually poison one. You're well within your legal right to poison your own lemons that you plan on keeping for yourself. And once someone gets poisoned, no one's coming back. You could also just put the sign, but that's no fun. Put the zest in a nest, taking them out they don't want to think about, cause those whores don't do chores. I reckon daddy's shotgun would do the trick. MHM. Electric fences. As someone who doesn't get this reference I'm confused. Oh my. You watched until the end? That's ducking awesome dude. Thanks for watching.